Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol BYND. We will take a look at the 30-minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30-minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like a couple weeks' worth of time, it's actually just the past two days, Thursday and then Friday, broken down into 30-minute time slices. I like to this time, Frank, that does a good job of telling the quote-unquote story of the price. And this situation makes mapping out a very interesting uh, you know, pattern and then scenario going into next week. Uh, I think pretty straightforward and clear. So let's first just get this pattern established. And this pattern is what I would call a symmetrical triangle. So there's the first portion of it. And then let's get the next part of it. If I knew how to use my tread lines. There we go. So overall, that is what the pattern is essentially being represented by. Uh, the fact that the, there is a downtrending line there and an uptrending line there. And that's what makes things the first part of you know an interesting scenario going into next week is that the price is trying to break through the, the pattern, but it, it didn't quite maintain above because the final 30 minutes, you can see you had that red candle there that kind of fell back inside of the pattern. But the point is that the price is, any way you look at it, definitely flirting with potentially breaking to the upside of the pattern. And if the pattern does fail and the bulls get the breakout to the upside, then that's what creates a, a scenario where this thing could definitely you know get moving again. If you're not familiar with BYND, this thing can move and it can move very fast. So in the event, you know, th this is kind of the, the uh, you know, kind of leading indicator here of there's a potential breakout to the upside happening next week. Let's map out some areas of resistance. So the first initial area of resistance is going to be right up here at 168.75 and then not that far off. So I'm just going to call this a resistance zone. You have that next level up there right around about 170.85. And I get it. What are you talking about? That's like a multi-dollar zone. Again, BYND can move very quickly. So that's going to be the, the definitely the key level there. And while there is no such thing as a guarantee, um, if the price can actually put, push through that resistance zone, then again, not a guarantee, but it's not out of the realm of reality that the price could then get up to you know test as high as about 182, which you can see back here has quite a bit of price history from previous periods. But like I said, 182 up around that area, I'm getting a little bit too far ahead of myself because first off, the price just has to establish itself as breaking out here. And then if it can get the breakout, it's got to get through that resistance zone. Now on the flip side, if this is a failed breakout and the price just pulls back here, you're definitely going to want to keep an eye on that tread line there because if the price falls through that tread line, then at that point, it would not be shocking at all to see the price at minimum go down to the 158 mark, which is those those lows right there and potentially even go lower than that. But as of right now, you kind of got to err on the side of the bulls given that the price is you know much closer to breaking through the upside of the pattern rather than breaking to the downside. But definitely an interesting pattern and scenario going into next week. I know I'll be watching, so let's see how it all plays out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.